Will tomorrow bring the love we need To last forever more Or could it bring the unknown That we Kingdom of the Spiders is a 1977 monster film directed by John Bud Cardos and starring William Shatner, Tiffany Bowling, Lou Dressler, David McLean, Altavise Davis, Natasha Ryan, and Woody Strode. The film opens down on the farm. Farmer Walter lets out his prized calf, thus immediately stricken with a case of freeze frame. This is either a commercial for Wrangler jeans or Marlboro. It's William Shatner who injects some heroin into this animal. Rack, you wouldn't dare. <laughs> yes, his name is Rack Hansen. This is assault. There's some kind of issue with a brother and Rack stomps off in a tantrum. Turns out Rack is an animal doctor and Walter brings his sick calf to get checked out. Uh, that doesn't look good. Rack performs some tests and it's dead, Jim. Look at this gas station. They definitely don't make them like that anymore, probably because of health codes. I guess a fair is coming to town for the spiders to totally wreck. Diane arrives from the University of Arizona, renting a room and looking for our pal Rack. With the county fair only three weeks away, this is mighty serious business, man. There's a hell of a lot of money at stake here. The mayors in these movies are always fucking clueless. I mean, this guy was ripped off from Jaws so bad, I wouldn't be surprised if his name was Mayor Very Lawn. Diane arrives and reveals what killed Walter's calf. What exactly did that calf die of? Venom. A massive dose of venom. Red corpuscles were almost non-existent. They set up an investigation and Rack makes a pass. I would like to have some dinner tonight. Oh, I probably will. I'll see you in the morning. Diane returns to the cottages for dinner and indulges in some local gossip. Uh, say, uh, can I buy you a drink? A pretty girl like you shouldn't be drinking alone. Your wife is sitting right there! Diane returns to her room for a quick movie shower and spider! Well, hello there. My goodness, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to live in people's houses. You're supposed to live in the ground. She likes that tarantula better than Rack. Rack and Diane arrive just in time to discover a dead dog. And it's spider venom. Then they discover a dirt pile full of spiders. There's a bit of exposition and then Rick visits his niece who will definitely be in peril before the end of this film. Plus some light flirting with the widowed sister-in-law. Isn't that like buying the cow and giving the milk away? You don't quit pestering me. One of these mornings I'm gonna show up and start milking that cow. <laughs> This is stalking. The fuck? Here's some kidnapping and Grand Theft Auto. They dine and discuss the case. What I mean is that through the excessive use of insecticides like DDT, we are inadvertently killing off the spider's natural source of food, therefore becoming much more aggressive. And here's your animal attack environmental plot point. Diane later checks her info as Rack valiantly attempts to get in her pants, to which she succumbs to for some reason. Where are you going, your little mother? Cock blocked by a spider. They decide to go and burn the spider hill, finding a fresh Big Mac in the process. <laughs> It's dead, Jim. They torch that fucker, but the spiders escape out the back door. 
The next day, Rack plays a jealousy game, and this asshole made this poor woman cry. They go for a ride as Walter heads to town. You spread it on that flat spot right over there. Can you do that? Of course, I know how. <laughs> Here, I want to show you something. Your wiener? There's Colby's truck. You showed her nothing but traffic. Did they jump on his face? You like being taken care of, don't you? Anybody taking care of you? What's with all this code for orgasms? There's a brief spider scare, then they discover the police checking out Walter's accident. They rappel down to check on Walter and... <laughs> Holy shit! This is a low rent Lily Tomlin. Diane gets a call and it's good news. The venom we sent to the lab is five times more toxic than normal. Who's the sheriff? He's over at Colby's. He's found another 20 or 30 hills just like the one we burned. More good news! The mayor demands that they drop pesticide and I keep telling him that maybe we can save August. Let's kill every living thing in the area. There's a lot of flying action, then we go back to this bit and I have to wonder why the spiders aren't being blown off as he flies around. Then this happens. This is what happens when you're out of raid. <laughs> Meanwhile... Oh my god, Linda! Ah! Oh, let me get out. We're living out as fast as you can. Rack arrives and she's dead, Jim. Jerry. Dead. Her kid's right there. Did you get a hold of anybody? No, the phone's graveyard dead. Too soon? Emma, now we don't have a lot of time to explain, but the spiders in this area, so far only the tarantulas, have organized themselves into an aggressive army. Yeah, they're damning the man. He's dead, Jim. Oh, thank God, the police. Oh, look, someone is dropping him for dinner. But that's a soup portion! Jump to the jump, jump, at a girl! This is how you scar a child actor. They attempt to leave, but nope. In town, it looks like a typical Black Friday. Was he crushed, or did he drown? At the cottage, there's an AC issue, and you know what's coming. What time is it? It's Miller time! The spiders cut the power, and Rack goes down to fix it, getting attacked and crawling up the stairs the only way that William Shatner would. The next morning, Rack is feeling better, looking out the window, and oh, you guys are so fucked. Kingdom of the Spiders is another offspring of Jaws. It's an animal attack movie where something environmental has caused the animals to go batshit crazy. It's a pretty standard film for the era with the added touch of William Shatner shattering all over the fucking place. Probably the more interesting part of the film is the end. Instead of killing the creatures or redirecting them into something more natural, this movie lets the spiders win. And all the people you've been rooting for through the entire film are going to be on a buffet later. Woo! Woo! Jake! Woo! Woo! Jake!